My name is Autumn Whiteway and I've been in the Under $100 art show before in 2019. I'm an Indigenous artist and I work in the woodland style, which is an Anishinaabe style of art that's very heavy in symbolism and bright colours. I use a lot of older traditional stories uh, in my artwork. I was first inspired probably over 25 years ago when I first saw the works of Norval Morso, who was, is the grandfather of the woodland style of art. Um, and I was going to university for 10 years, getting three degrees, and is a very left brain institution, and I just really longed for creativity. I started off working primarily in painting, um, but I'm also an archaeologist, so it was pretty heavy to bring a bag full of paints and canvases with me to the fields all the time when I was away for three weeks at a time. So I switched primarily to digital arts now. Uh, I still do work in um, painting sometimes. This piece is called Deeper Roots, um, and this is in the woodland style of art. So the inspiration of this piece was just to show the interconnectedness of the bear with the ecosystem. Um, so you can see the berries that it lives off of. And I use a lot of number and color symbolism in my artwork. So purple, for example, is a healing color. Number symbolism, I often use four dots or I use sevens and fours are for the four sides of the medicine wheel. Sevens are for the seven generations that came before us and the seven generations that come after us. Um, <clears throat> and this is a line of connection, which is one of the common symbols in woodland style art that just shows that everything is connected and these roots show that the, the bear is deeply embedded in the ecological system. There's like so many different forms of symbolism. There, sometimes there's lines of power or there's um, lines of prophecy that come out of a person's mouth in the, in the image. The number symbolism, that's something that I do on my own that's not really affiliated with the woodland style of art. Um, I just fi find that maybe I'm a little bit OCD and since I was a child I, I was always counting things and so those, those numbers, the fours and the sevens, are really important because of the four sides of the medicine wheel and then the seven generations. When it comes to coming up with the subjects of my artworks, sometimes they come to me in a dream or a daydream. And then, yeah, just as I'm, I'm working, I often feel, almost feel like my ancestors are, are guiding me in what I put into my artworks. Uh, Archaeology was what I loved as a child. I kind of had this checklist or this list of careers that I was going to pursue potentially. And that was archeologist, paleontologist, um, entomologist, herpetologist, or veterinarian. And so I really went back to what I loved as a child. I had worked in offices and worked in management. And then that was, I just wanted to be outdoors working and, and history was so interesting, especially as an indigenous person. I really loved arts when I was a child, but it wasn't anything that I particularly pursued. It wasn't my forte arts at all, it was more sciences. So um, I was actually surprised when I got into arts um, that I was good at it. <laughs> I don't just work in um, painting and digital art. I also do photography and I do a lot of traditional indigenous crafts as well. And so I'm trying to combine them. One of my next projects will be to bring um, this 2D woodland style of art into a 3D form um, using clay or stained glass, um, different, different forms of media. The dream catchers are something I've been working on for years. Each one takes me about five or six hours to make and each one is very unique. None of them ever turn out the same. It all depends on what I'm able to get my hands on. Sometimes I, um, I recycle and reuse uh, pendants that people have given me that they own previously. At the show, I'll be bringing some canvas prints as well as some cardstock prints. Um, 
but I'm also going to work on some originals that have yet to be painted. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping to also bring some birch bark etchings and I'll have the dream catchers and um, some rock art as well.